So in this very quick video, we're going to take a look at a company that is uh, taking a different approach, an approach that we haven't discussed before when it comes to measuring blood glucose non-invasively. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is happy and healthy and doing well and is getting out there exercising. So yeah, in my original November video, for those of you who saw it, we discussed a number of different approaches to measuring, or at least trying to measure, blood glucose non-invasively. We did not discuss this specific company. We did not discuss their approach. So I thought it might be useful to bring it to you now. This uh, company is a Finnish company called Laka Health. Their product is called Sokre, which fittingly enough means sugar in Finnish. And the product that they have measures blood sugar using a band that you wear on your wrist or maybe around your arm. Their approach, their technology approach is to measure volatile organic compounds or VOCs for short. You may recall that we've discussed VOCs before in another one of my videos where we talked about a company that is looking to measure blood glucose in our breath and they are looking to measure VOCs as well. What we haven't discussed is the approach that LACA is taking, and that is to measure VOCs on the surface of the skin, which is what they're looking to do. Now, there is a rich scientific literature about VOCs on the surface of human skin. Scientists have established that there are a variety of different VOCs on our skin at any point in time. One of the challenges with that is that some of them are endogenous, which means that our bodies produce them, while others are exogenous, meaning that we get them from uh, the surroundings, whether it's soap or perfumes or even water or whatever, and that makes it a little bit tricky at times. So LACA is conducting now a clinical trial with 10 type 1 diabetes participants, starting in April and hopefully finishing in June this year as you know, a starting point for their device testing. They have registered a clinical trial on clinicaltrials.gov and it will be conducted by an investigator in Switzerland. So that's all we know right now. We wish them good luck and look forward to tracking how they're doing. And uh, with that, I hope you found it useful, interesting, and uh, wish you all the best and we'll talk to you soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.